Hey guys, Chris Ignato here. It's good to see you again. So it's the second day of spring. And while the nights are still cold, they've been in the upper 30s. The days have been in the 50s and right now it is 62 degrees. Mosquitoes are capitalizing on it. That also means the wood frogs and spring peepers are already starting to do their spring chorus. But in a few nights, the temperature is going to go up to high 40s and low 50s for many nights in a row and we're gonna have rain. That should cause the amphibian breeding activity to skyrocket. It's gonna be pretty exciting because you know it's a great time of year. There's a lot of magic in the air. So I wanna visit this area that I like to call the ponds because there's a lot of vernal pools here filled with invertebrates and amphibians that like to breed here. Sometimes even spotted salamanders, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna see what's going on today and film some things. And then I'm gonna come back in a few days after the rain has come and the temperature at night has gone up. And that should cause the amphibian breeding activity to, well, to be quite productive. I wanna compare and contrast what I find today and in a few days from now at the same location. Let's see if there is. I might have thought that uh, amphipod was hard to film, but it's got nothing on this water mite. These things are fast. So this is actually one of my favorite pools to visit this time of year and there's already a lot of clutches of wood frog eggs. There's probably some spring peeper eggs in here too, but a lot of wood frog eggs, so that's a good sign. By the looks of it, the eggs have only been here for a couple of days. And soon the embryos within the eggs will develop into tadpoles or polywags and hatch, probably within a couple of weeks. So I've already found several spotted salamanders. Here's one right here. And this is a type of mole salamander called Amblystoma maculatum, which pretty much means wide mouth. And these are really cool, exciting salamanders. This is probably a male. Usually the males get here first, and then a few days later, the females join in. I've found several spermatophores in the surface of the pond, you know, the, the bed of the pond, I should say. And that's what the males do. They drop down a spermatophore and then they dance with the female, get her to come close and she picks it up and then gets fertilized. So I'll show you some close up of this little fella before I turn him loose again. Of course, the spotted salamander gets its name from these bright yellow spots along its back. And its overall body color is kind of like a slate gray, but sometimes these spots will be an orange or almost red. But usually, at least around here, they're yellow or lime green. <laughs> 